All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the major scale and its diatonic chords, which is just a fancy way of saying the chords that occur naturally in the major scale. Now, music is all about patterns. And the better you get at recognizing these patterns, the better you'll get at using them for writing music, for playing music, for improvising, whatever it is you want to do, these patterns can make it so much easier. And since the major scale and its chords are so useful and so popular, I figured it'd be a great place to start by learning how to make a major scale from any note on the keyboard. So before we get started with that, we need to make sure that we understand how the keyboard works and how intervals work. I've explained in a couple other videos that the basic building blocks of almost everything in music theory is the half step, and then also the whole step. A half step is just moving, if you're in a DAW, it's moving up just one. If you're looking at a keyboard, a half step is moving from one key to the very next key. A whole step is moving from one key to two keys over. And in a DAW, it's moving up two times. So next, we're going to look at the keyboard. If you look over here, every white key, you'll notice, is named after a different letter. Starting with A, goes B, C, D, E, F, G, then starts over again, A, B, C. So all the white notes are named after a letter A through G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it repeats up and down the entirety of the keyboard. You'll notice that most of these keys have a black key between them. They're almost all separated by a whole step, with the exception of B and C and E and F. These are the only white keys that are a half step apart. And it's going to be important to remember that. One way I remember it is just from the sentence, every Friday I bake cookies. That might work for you. It might not. If not, I recommend coming up with your own nifty way of remembering it. But just as long as you're able to remember it, it'll be really useful. So next, we have the black keys. And if I fill these in, you're going to notice something. They share names, but they also have this weird symbol next to them. So we have A sharp is what that little symbol means. But A sharp, even though you can't see it on my screen, is also B flat. And that goes for all of these. It's C sharp if it's one step above C, D flat if it's one step below D, depending on the context. So D sharp is also E flat, F sharp is also G flat, G sharp is also A flat, and A sharp is also B flat. So on and so forth. And just like the white keys, these cycle. They start over up and down, just the same names all, of, all over the keyboard. So now that we know how that works, we'll dive right into how to make a major scale. So picking any note, I'll start with C for now. The pattern you're going to follow is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So we're going to start from C, we're going to move up a whole step. From D, we're going to move up another whole step, and we're going to move up a half step, full step, full step, full step, half step. And that gives us our major scale. And that same pattern follows any key, any note that you want to use. So let's start with E. We'll move up a half, whole step, full step, half step, full step, full step whole step, half step. And there we have our E major scale. Really simple. Any note you want to use, just pick one, follow that pattern, and you've got a major scale. So let's start with the C major scale again for this next step. I'm going to show you how to make the chords. And this rule is actually the same for any scale minor, major, whatever you're working with, this rule remains the same. To build the chords, all you do is pick your starting note. We'll start with C. Skip the note next to it. Add the third. Skip the fourth. 
and add the fifth. So starting with C, we'll go to E, and then we'll skip the F and go to G. Starting with D, we'll skip the E, go to the F, skip the G, go to the A. And this pattern follows the same for every single chord. And you'll notice, once I get to this fourth chord, we run out of space. There are no more notes. But earlier, we talked about how everything just cycles in the same order. So this C can be counted as this C down here. So now that we have the G, we'll skip the A to go to the B, skip the C to get to the D. Then the A, skip B, get to C, skip D, get to E. B, skip the C to get to the D, and then skip the E to get to the F. And then we know that the C major scale is just C, E, G, because that's used on here. And that pattern gives you all of the chords from the major scale. Pretty easy, right? And this works no matter what key you're in. Let's go down a couple. So now we're in the key of G sharp major. And we have all the chords from the G sharp major scale. So let's go back to C. Highlight all this. So each of these chords are going to remain in this order for every major scale. It's going to start with a major scale, then it's going to go to a minor scale, then there's another minor, then it's going to go to another major, then major, then minor, then diminished, and then we're right back where we started in octave higher, major chord. So since this stays the same for every major scale, these chords are named. It goes the major first, minor second, minor third, major fourth, major fifth, minor sixth, diminished seventh, and then major first again. And this stays the same for every major scale. So just to summarize, you can build a major scale from any note by following the pattern whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And following the pattern of skip the second, add the third, skip the fourth, add the fifth, you can build all the chords for the scale. And the order of those chords stay the same no matter which major scale you're using. So thanks for watching this video. There are detailed notes on everything we discussed in the description of the video in case you'd like to copy and paste them for future reference. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, just let me know in the comments. But for now, have a great day and keep on writing.